Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT based energy meter monitoring and uh, auto building system along with theft notification. So here we are going to get the like how much of load was connected to this energy meter that is in KWH and the same time we are going to get the build details. So these two will be continuously monitored from the uh, anywhere in the world using this blink application and also we can control this device means power supply to the host. Uh, using this electromagnetic relay by controlling that through this blink application same this can be controlled from anywhere in the world and one more uh, third operation is like uh, whenever the person trying to open this box so this button will be attached to the box so it automatically uh, trigger the microcontroller and at the same time we will get the red LED notification on this blink application so all these operations to communicate from the blink application to the microcontroller and from the microcontroller to the blink application will be done with the help of this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and uh, the whole operation done by the main uh, like brain of the project is the microcontroller PIC16F73 we are using so which will take the input from the energy meter through this optocoupler so the energy meter is as a current sensor which will provide the pulse signal from this LED whenever the load connected to that. So the blinking rate considered as a KWH readings whenever the blinking rate count is reaches to 3200 impressions then the controller will consider it as a 1 kilowatt hour. So if the one blink was uh, triggered from this LED so it is going to be the 1 by 3200 kilowatt hour ok so here the blinking rate was connected to the microcontroller through this PC817 optocoupler so which will uh, isolate between the energy meter LED pulse and the microcontroller so the purpose of this optocoupler is if is there any short circuit occurred inside the energy meter directly if we connect the LED to the microcontroller then the direct uh, power supply to the devils will be given to the microcontroller so that the whole system will may get damaged so for that isolation we kept this uh, optocoupler which will optically coupled between the input and output so if anything goes wrong only this small IC will make it damaged so that we can protect the our main components in our project we can replace that easily ok and this one is the input and the another input is from the blink application to control that so when uh, microcontroller receives the signal from the blink application through this ESP8266 so controller will control this electromagnetic relay which was connected at the pin number B0 and the optocoupler connected the pin number A4 and the so called status continuously displayed on the LCD screen which will show the uh, KWH reading along with building details and that will display uh, connected to the pin number B22 B7 and Wi-Fi module is connected pin number C62, C704, PIC16F73 microcontroller. So on this motherboard we can see the one reset switch. So which will reset the microcontroller only it will restart the controller. And this steel plate one is a crystal oscillator which will provide us 20 megahertz of oscillating frequency to the microcontroller. The main purpose of this oscillation, oscillation frequency is we have provided a set of instructions to the controller to read the input, to control the output and send the data to the thing speak. So these instructions to be executed based on the clock pulse means one pulse input from this crystal oscillator will execute one instructions inside the microcontroller. So we are providing 20 mega pulses per second. So controller can execute 20 mega instructions per second. So the next switch is uh, this is a theft indication switch to get the alerts in a blink application and then we can control the devices from the blink application itself. So here the power flow is 230 volts AC input to this regular power supply board and from here we are uh, parallelly distributing that to the energy meter and the energy meter output is connected to this load which we are representing this 200 watts bulb which impresses the whole uh, total house through this electromagnetic relay and uh, this regular power supply board will provide us the 5 volts DC output by taking the 230 volts AC input as it has the 4 stages that is the transformation, rectification, filtration and regulation. After these four steps the system will provide us the 5 volts DC output. So before on the power supply to the kit so the very first step is we need to install the blink IoT application from the play store so this application install it from the play store and then on the uh, hotspot in your phone change the hotspot name to project finance 60 without any space without any capital letter so and password should be 12345678 and AP band should be 2.4 GHz. After these three settings successfully done, 
don't forget to uh, keep this in small headers and without any space and password 129 on the hotspot along with data now log into the blink application so that you can see like this the first screen so monitoring is offline means the device was not connected to the internet so when we on the power supply within five to six seconds so the system will come to online and we can see the offline marks go away right right now we can see and just reset the system initially after the device is online reset that by using this switch this is the for theft indication this one is the reset switch okay now you can see the unit 00, zero and the bill is also 00, zero. when I on this the device will get switched on so when the load was connected then automatically the readings will be increased we can see same on the blink application also the first one is a kwh second one is the bill details so in meanwhile if any one person are trying to open the box then the switch will trigger the microcontroller so we uh, when we press this switch this is the switch red color is the theft indication switch so we can see the red led notification on the blink application so as indication of theft right so then we can control the power supply to the home by just triggering the input from the blink application